Hi everybody, my name is Dr. E and I want to welcome you to my class on torque, center of mass, and rigid bodies in equilibrium. In this class, you're going to learn how to calculate the torque. It could be as simple as a system where you're trying to apply a force to a wrench in order to loosen a nut. Or it could be more complicated. You could use a strut in order to raise a weight above the ground and you want to calculate the forces and torques required in order for this object to be in static equilibrium. From that point on, we're going to look at the concept of center of mass. You're going to learn how to calculate the center of mass for systems of particles in one, two, and three dimensions, and how the center of mass can sometimes be used to simplify what looks like complicated dynamics. For example, a spinning baton through the air or a hammer flying through the air. The motion looks very complicated. However, if you analyze it by looking at the center of mass, it looks just like projectile motion. Once we have these concepts mastered, you'll then be able to apply them to solve much more complicated problems. For example, the hanging sign problem. You'll be able to analyze all the forces and torques that are required in order to keep this sign in static equilibrium. The topics you're going to learn in this class will allow you to solve all types of problems. For example, a ladder resting up against a wall. Or calculating the force required to raise a wheel up onto a curb or looking at all the forces involved in keeping two marbles in equilibrium that are placed in a glass jar, or looking at the physics involved when a ninja runs across a beam. I'm gonna teach you all the problem-solving strategies that I know, and the easiest way to solve problems. For example, calculating the center of mass of a very complicated object <laughs> like this one, which is just a rectangular board with a circular hole cut out from the bottom. I'll show you how to calculate the center of mass of an object like this without using any calculus whatsoever. At the end of this class, my hope is that you have a greater appreciation for objects that are in equilibrium, such as a stack of biscuits. So welcome to the class. Sign up. Have fun. If you have any questions along the way, you never hesitate to email me. I will always make sure you understand the topics.